waves of violence continue to wash over the city of Petersburg. There were three shootings just this week, leaving four people hurt. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller is live in Petersburg with more details on the curfew just extended for everyone under 18 years old. Rachel, good evening. Eric and Deanna, after the recent violence, Petersburg Police Chief Travis Christian is hoping that this curfew extension will put more responsibility on parents. The city joins other localities like Henrico, Chesterfield, and Richmond who are doing similar ordinances. Petersburg police says there have been 45 shootings since January 1st, and there have been multiple victims within some of these shootings. The department is investigating three just this week that left four people hurt. With the way things are now, I'm just surprised there's not more. Brian Chambers living near one of the scenes. Residents addressing concerns at this week's city council meeting. Every day I talk to people who are the ones most affected by the violence, especially in Ward 5. They feel that they are the ones left behind, the ones that no one cares about. Last month, in a span of days, several people were shot at different locations, including children. When you have a loss of a child or anybody else in your family, and we proceed not to do anything. I get 50 calls, the mayor get 50 calls, everybody get 50 calls, or what you going to do? Petersburg City Councilman for Ward 5, Howard Myers, along with the remaining city council members, voting to extend the curfew for minors. Police cannot be at every corner. Now it's time to do something. The curfew is expanding by an extra two hours from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. The city attorney and the police chief will work together to further clarify the ordinance. In the meantime, the city attorney is also expected to reach out to the state to look at expanding the curfew even further to 8 p.m. Live in Petersburg, Rachel Keller, 8 News.